Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. Now I've got a fun project this evening. I'm going to be using one of my favorite materials, which is Schedule 40 pipe. This is a three-quarter ID. It's about 11 inches. And basically this is just like black iron pipe uh, you could get at uh, a home center or something. But it's, you know, I get it from the studio yard. It's not painted black and it's just schedule 40 tubing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind if you are using uh, pipe, do not use galvanized pipe. The zinc coating when, it, when it's heated up is very dangerous. It can cause you some major health problems not excluding death. It can kill you if you're already in a weakened state. So no galvanized. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this thing out and I'm going to make a small uh, rack out of it, like a little uh, coat rack for the back of a bathroom door or a, a, just a narrow space for, you know, small things. My, my wife has made her one. She puts scarves on it because she requires a lot of scarves. But um, it was a bigger one. This is going to be a three hook one. But I'm going to show you how I flatten this material and you get a really unique shape that you can use for all kinds of projects. Well, here's everything we're going to need for this project with the exception of a forge, an anvil, and a vise. Now, this is a light rounding hammer. You don't need a big hammer for everything. I've got a pair of tongs to hold the stock. I've got a set of uh, scrolling tongs. Might not need them, but then again, I might. Uh, center punch. Going to be drilling some holes, so I like to mark them with a center punch. Tape measure. Going to be drilling some holes. I like to mark them. Uh, this is my material. I've got uh, about 11 inches of this uh, three-quarter ID uh, Schedule 40 tubing. And uh, this is some scrap. A, a buddy of mine gave me a whole bunch of this uh, 3 sixteenths, I guess. Yeah, 3 sixteenths round stock. So I'm trying to find things to do with that. Uh, it can't all be S-hooks. So I'm uh, going to be using that in this little project as well. Okay, this is one of those times where I'm not sure the camera is going to completely show what kind of shape we've made here. Uh, it is, um, maybe from the end here, you can, uh, let me move this around, you can get an uh, idea. but it's, it, it's, it's collapsed the center but left these ridges on the outside. And, and this look is great for all kinds of things. I just want to show that to you before we move on and uh, work our ends out. Okay, the ends we're not going to get crazy with. We're basically just going to mash them flat. Got to flare it out. This is our piece of Schedule 40. We flared the ends, we flattened the pipe, we've got that nice uh, concave uh, dipped in with the rounded edges look. Now we're going to drill some holes in that before we move forward. But before we do that, we're going to forge our three hooks real quick. Back on its 
itself, just like that. That's going to be the end of my hook. I'm going to throw another heat on it. Okay, now to make the hook, I'm going to quench the end I did so I don't destroy it. Take it to the horn, bring down the back side. thing is 11 and a half inches so we're going to mark it at a half inch on either end let's see 11 would be five and a half five and three quarters would be the center and then let's do two and a half inches from there so here's our five spots we're going to center punch. Okay, we're going to drill these out. So center punch every hole I drill. Our three hooks are cut off at uh, two different lengths. I've got two shorter, one longer, and uh, now we're going to heat those up and uh, bend the ends over about an inch. Okay, you're going to want to do this to each of these. Just bend about an inch uh, over and then bring her around a little more. That's about it. You're going to do that to all three of these. Okay, I've got the three of these done, and looking back, that's not the way I ever do it. I always do what I'm about to do to the uh, the main bracket first, and then come back and do this all at once when I'm attaching them. So, anyway, I'm sorry, me being stupid, I'll explain it again later. Now, this guy gets heated one end at a time, and we make it stand out from the wall. Okay, now our main strip here is how we're going to get it out away from the wall. We're going to lock it in our vise. And the back of our little three hook rack and this is the front okay this is essentially what it would look like mounted I'm not gonna mount it up here but you get the idea you've got three hooks it'd be good on a closet door or a bathroom door and hopefully 
you can see this shape here. That's the big thing about this project. This shape opens you up to a lot of things. Okay, y'all, now that's, that's a fairly easy little rack to make. And, and you can make that, you can use different material for the, the backing piece and, and for the front hooks. But the main thing I really wanted to show you was the, the versatility of uh, forging that tubing flat. When, when I decided this is what I wanted to do for a living, uh, my mentor, uh, blacksmith by the name of Dan Goostry, uh, one of the first jobs that I worked on with him was we were making a, a railing that uh, looked like the eye on a peacock's feather. Uh, his uh, 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 longtime partner, Paige Easter, uh, designed the uh, the railing and we just had to forge it and this is a, a piece that we ended up not using and this is forged out of out of tubing and you get that shape that unique shape and look you can't get that uh, any way that I know of other than using you know tubing and forging it flat you can use it on tons of things once again your your imagination is the key to this what, what do you want to use it on? Use it on it. So anyway, I hope y'all got something out of this. And as usual, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to us here on uh, Voodoo Tennessee. Y'all have a good now.